Hey guys, today's video is going to be on this old Briggs and Stratton Model 6S engine I have. I ran the number on it, the model and serial number on it, and it came out to be a 58 or a 59 model, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure it's 1959. I'll check it again and put a note on the video. But uh, it runs pretty good most of the time. Last time I had it out, I had to adjust the carburetor a little bit. The carburetor actually needs to rebuild on it, but. You can usually play with the choke and get it to run enough for a little bit, so we'll see what it does. I done put some gas in it and checked the oil. What's so unique about these motors is the block is uh, cast iron, you can see. But uh, the head's aluminum on them, you see. So that's kind of weird. But uh, they're pretty simple motors. This is a two horsepower, what this is. And... Uh, you can see how simple the crankcase bolts on there. You just got two bolts that holds it all together here. And even the oil fill plugs metal on it. And uh, put a little oil in it a little low. And there's no no rust at all in the tank. And this is your choke here. Pull it out to turn the choke off. Choke's on there. You can see the little muffler there. The governor, the governor ain't set up on it. That's why I got the spring on there to keep the throttle from running too fast on it. And I cleaned the spark plug a while ago. It just had a little carbon on it, not too bad. You got to wrap a rope around this one because it don't have a recoil on it. And on 90% of the engines that you have to do this, the engine always turns clockwise when you're facing the flywheel like this. So you just have to wrap the rope clockwise. And it's best to turn it over till you get it on compression. It usually helps keep them kicking back and makes them a little easier to start. So, well, let's take it outside and see what it'll do.
start right back up. So just gonna run them to do. Well, guys, I guess that's about it. I just thought I'd share it with you. So if you got any questions or comments, leave me a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.